Hey guys, so just wanted to say an absolutely massive thank you, like genuinely from the bottom of my heart, for um, for us getting up to 100 subscribers, right? I'm just absolutely thrilled and kind of blown away, you know, for to make a video kind of celebrating 100 subscribers, and uh, I thought I would um, take you guys through some of the stats, just so that you could see um, the stats on, on my YouTube studio. Because, you know, if you um, also create a YouTube channel or you just have a general interest, you might kind of be interested to know what kind of, what is doing really well and what isn't doing so well. So, okay, the um, top content that I've actually produced have both been um, Stellaris, right? Which is a game um, I really love. Yeah, I've got about 6,000 views on this one, 4,000 on this one. Now, this is a um, beginner's guide, basically, for the um, Wolf 2.3 patch. And uh, a lot of people have said they found that really useful. And uh, yeah, this um, video was how to create a sector in Wolf 359, which is a bit of a Star Trek in joke. But um, yeah, both of these videos did quite well. Um, this one was kind of a really useful video for anyone who wants to know how to create a sector. And that's not immediately obvious in the um, newest game, basically. So, and yeah, this one, like I say, was a general overview. Um, the banished videos are um, fairly old now. Um, look, 2016, and um, you know they've been um, pretty, pretty good over time. I don't think um, other people have really made much banished content in the past. Um, again, how to install WoW Classic is, um, you know, relatively short video. It's only a minute long, minute and three seconds, but um, nevertheless, it um, has done really, really well because a lot of people actually have problems figuring out actually how to install it. Right? I certainly did. And um, I'm sort of thinking because um, my channel kind of focuses on three things. So you've got tutorials, right? Like that one. You've got computer game stuff. And then you've got some like political stuff, which um, hasn't done so well, to be honest. But I still kind of enjoy creating that stuff because especially if I've got something that I really need to say and get off my chest. So um, really appreciate that you kind of stick with me on that, guys. Um, then um, we've got an older video back from 2009. Jeez, where does the time go? So that kind of basically features my dad and it's um, a classic video, um, really enjoy it. Um, next we actually have some Warcraft content. Now, I think a lot of Warcraft content was doing really, really well in the run up to WoW Classic because people were kind of really nostalgic for it. You know, they really wanted um, Warcraft Classic and the uh, more recent Warcraft Classic has done all right. Um, well, classic, sick things to do before you play. That got um, 618 um, views, as you can see. Um, again, top five things to do with limes was just brilliant. Um, love that video. Um, again, it kind of featured my dad, really, and uh, I just love making it. Um, so here is Dr. Random McCam. Again, he's sort of um, a YouTube celebrity and um, a guy I really like. Um, I think a lot of the content he's produced in the past for um, for YouTube and stuff has actually probably helps a lot of people. But, um, you know, there's a great deal of depth and thought that goes into his work. So he's um, a guy I think is fantastic. A video um, about Carl Benjamin a while ago, who he was um, hosting an event in London at King's College. And... Um, kind of he was kind of well the stage was kind of rushed by Antifa so um, Antifa were kind of beaten back and um, they uh, basically got the flag off um, off the people there so um, I just thought I'd make a video about that um, did reasonably well again this video um, is unlisted and it's based on an old crass video featuring Jesus Christ so again that was 2009 so it's a long time ago and it is unlisted unlist in fact I'll tell you what Unlisted, yeah. Let's just say there's a copyright claim on there. Um, I, again, that's just a really dodgy video. Didn't actually got four down votes. Maybe I should just delete the bloody thing. I mean, it might cost me a few views and things. Um, you know, because YouTube kind of adds up the total. But oh, I suppose unlisted is fine. Um, to be honest, but yeah. Um, so then we've got some more Stellaris content, and I really want to create some more really high quality Stellaris content. Um, one of the styles I actually watched on YouTube, because I watch quite a lot of YouTube um, myself, is where they kind of set you up with um, how you can actually go away and um, play um, a, certain, a certain playthrough. And um, I've actually got two different videos 
are kind of in the pipes um, that I really need to get out, which are kind of related to that. But um, I actually found the pacifist ethos in Stellaris really interesting because um, there's a lot you can do with it. And I've avoided it deliberately because um, I kind of thought, well, this is going to be really constraining and really boring. But actually, it adds a really interesting dimension to the game. Again, Ned Flanders does monster. Um, we really shouldn't see that. It's a bit of horrible stopgap animation. Um, so yeah, definitely don't look at that video. We've got the Stellaris ship designer video here. Um, someone actually suggested I make this um, video, uh, this tutorial, so I kind of did, and I, I realise there's other content on YouTube for, you know, Solaris that covers similar sorts of areas, but um, I, I kind of enjoy making it myself and, you know, sort of putting my experience into, um, you know, creating the video. So um, I won't go into too much detail. Um, like I say, some of the political stuff I've done hasn't really featured very highly. And, you know, I've done a few movie reviews and stuff, um, which haven't actually gone down that well. And I think the reason why they didn't do that well is because, um, well, when the video's kind of out at the cinema, there is a vast amount of competition and there's some really high quality videos out there that um, people are putting out there and it's kind of hard to compete with that. Um, I think it's better to kind of um, focus a bit more on the niche. So, um, yeah, you focus on a niche and, um, you know, you kind of add your own angle to it, right? So you're just not doing a flat out review of something. You're, um, kind of putting your own unique spin on it. Um, there's also this KKND Extreme video. Now, the video is okay. 166 views. Um, what I think I want to do is actually produce a few more of these KKND videos but um, looking at the online aspect of the game because um, this was um, kind of a remake but um, it's um, a really good game and a classic strategy game um, I've got some very good memories with KKND I used to um, go around a friend's house and we used to all play KK8 we used to play the game on LAN and uh, yeah some very good memories you know it was a lot of fun so um, yeah um, those are the um, top videos that I've sort of covered I guess um, over the years um, and yeah there's quite a few other videos down here um, Star Trek data video I w ah, this is frustrating right I really wanted to bring this video out maybe a week earlier than I actually did but um, unfortunately by the time I got this video out the market was already quite saturated and um, again there's one or two Star Trek videos that I want to do um, I really want to do a video about um, oh there's a, a lot of hints in Star Trek, especially in the next generation. Um, I mean, one of the big criticisms of Star Trek, which a lot of people might say, and you might have noticed, noticed this too, is there are an awful lot of very similar looking humanoids, right? Now, if you're producing a TV series, it's really useful to have humanoids, seeing as how this, is, this world is smothered in humanoids, you know? <laughs> Humans, essentially. So, you know, you put some um, makeup on, or a Klingon, or they're a Bajoran, but... Actually, in Star Trek lore, if you remember, there are a few episodes that explained why it might be that there were um, humanoids everywhere, basically. And I'm going to do like a really good video kind of explaining my theories and my ideas about why that universe would be created and populated um, in the way that it is. Okay, so um, yeah, if you want to do that video first, feel free. Um, but nevertheless, um, I, again, one of the things I've done recently is all of this video gaming content that I've kind of produced, um, I've actually added it to Steam, and again, I might make another video about um, how to actually add your YouTube videos to Steam. Um, it's a shame that's partially blocked. Copyright claim. Again, this is all stuff I produced in 2009, when I was actually, actually at university. So um, it's kind of a shame that um, nobody actually did a lesson on copyright and fair use. Um, but um, then again, I, I suppose we were... The internet was still relatively new back in 2009, believe it or not. I mean, it was only, what, five, ten years old, really, at that point. So, you know, a lot of the stuff that we know today about copyright and stuff, um, we didn't know then. And to be honest, I think I might actually, again, produce another video about copyright in the future. So um, I'm interested in fair use, I'm interested in what music can you use, what music can't you use, 
Um, I'm interested in the um, YouTube um, sound studio and uh, I don't know, all kinds of other things like that, you know, because fair use is really interesting and it's something that's also quite vague, right? So you've really got to, um, you know, know your stuff about it, right? So, for example, with fair use, you can report on a story if it's kind of newsworthy or provide analysis, right? And you can use the original footage under certain circumstances, right? Um, or you can um, kind of create a um, creative interpretation based on someone else's copyright, and that can occasionally come under fair use, right? Um, so again, there's so many videos I want to produce for you guys, you know, they're, they're going to be pretty awesome. Um, so uh, again, let's just um, go to, uh, we need to go to the classic editor, right? Um, so you just click other, submit. Oh, actually, no, I can just go to analytics here. Never mind about the classic. Oh. I have zoomed in for you guys, okay. Um, but anyway, let's look over the um, analytics. So I've already explained that um, these were my top performing videos. So again, Stellaris, um, Warcraft, um, but a tutorial on Warcraft. Um, classic WoW. Should I play as a druid? I didn't even. I didn't even talk about that. But um, again, I kind of really enjoyed making that video. Scarlet Monastery. So that's um. So we've got two Stellaris, and we've got um, three Warcraft. Which isn't surprising because that's the content I've been producing recently and because the newest one which is doing quite well is um, WoW Classic making money with Auctioneer um, which uh, again is the top video um, within the last 48 hours um, so yeah that's all doing well and you know the Stardust tutorial is still doing really well which is um, really positive actually um, so let's have a look at the engagement which um, basically how how much people um, kind of interact with your stuff. Watch times so have got about 48.1 thousand, sub 91% based on the um, previous 28 days. So again, that's great. What's our reach, right? 62.7k impressions. Um, so it's all good stuff. Revenue, <laughs> zero. Yeah, you can't actually monetize any of your videos or any of your content unless you have let me have a look. Um, I think it's 2,000 subscribers, right? Um, so again, I've got 100 at the moment, which I'm so very, very thankful for. Thank you very much, guys. Um, really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, if I do actually want to um, monetize my stuff in the future, then yeah, I'm going to have to do quite a lot more. Um, it's a monthly estimated revenue. That would be zero, 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 zero. Um, But yeah, um, I mean, I'm, I guess um, I don't really have much of an income at the moment, so um, I'm kind of looking for a job actually. Um, and you know, I've actually gained quite a lot of um, experience in sort of video editing and stuff recently, but there's not that many kind of jobs about sort of related to video editing, but um, one of the things I actually do um, professionally is I'm a uh, social media consultant. Um, so you know, I've worked for Microsoft, I've worked for a company called ISAT. And, you know, I've, um, I'm really good at it, actually. Um, I mean, I've been for a few jobs recently, and I haven't been successful. And I think that's more probably down to my uh, personality. Uh, well, to be honest, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, you do get a bit depressed. or but I wouldn't even say depressed, because I'm normally so happy and optimistic. Um, I guess a um, better word would just be generally upset, because, um, yeah, haven't had a job for a while. And you know, I'd love a job, and there's been a few companies I've gone for recently, and I uh, probably didn't do as well as I could have in the um, in the interview because of various reasons, nothing too awful or anything. But yeah, just hopefully, um, I don't know. I always think like um, enzymes and particle interactions, right? Um, eventually, if you've just got enough collisions, you know. Eventually, the enzyme's gonna fit. You know, I'm gonna get a job that um, I enjoy. That I can really, really help the company out. You know, really help the company to grow. But um, yeah, that's um, not really happening at the moment. Um, but maybe in the future, you never know. Um, so yeah, I, I guess there's not really that many um, more analytics stuff to um, really look at. Uh, 
audience is interesting. So if you look at some um, watch time from subscribers, um, subscribed is 0.2% of a watch time. Um, not subscribed is 94% of a watch time. So that kind of means that I'm um, doing a terrible job of converting people into actually being subscribers. <coughs> <coughs> Which is probably down to my terrible content, but no, I try my best anyway. Um, as you can see here, 32% um, of the audience is in the United States, about 9% is in the UK. Um, got quite a few people in Germany. Hi, Germany. <laughs> I love you guys. Um, Canada, Australia. Um, I guess we could um, have a little bit more. So, yeah, I, I guess um, got some Sweden, Netherlands, France, Poland, Denmark. Lovely countries, all of them. <laughs> um, you are age now, that's interesting. So, yeah, nearly everyone is 25 to 34, um, which is kind of interesting. So, what, almost 70% of the audience, um, 35 to 44, um, pretty interesting. Um, nobody 13 to 17, well, that's not surprising. Nobody 45 to 54. Uh, again, who knows how. Um, accurate <laughs> this information is now I actually had a um, lady commenting on my video earlier right um, so I know that even though it says male 100% here I know there's at least one woman who's watched one of my videos in fact there's been more I mean honestly how does YouTube know but yeah I have thought maybe I should make more um, do some more market research and you know try to make my videos more accessible to everyone I do think the majority of people who use YouTube um, do tend to be women well they tend sorry tend to be men I think it's about 10 to 1 for some reason I guess men are just more visual and they like watching things um, maybe women like reading things more so if you're looking for a tutorial on the internet maybe men are gonna click on the video women are gonna click on the web page perhaps um, but um, yeah, so, I found that statistic very interesting anyway, um, subscription status, not subscribed, 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 95, oh no, I've already lost five people on the subscription, <laughs> oh no, oh sorry, this is watch time, right. So again, what can I do to get people subscribed? Maybe I'll start up a mug club and get people to send over mugs. Um, subscription source. I don't know if I'm meant to be, even be showing this to you guys, um, but don't tell anyone, okay. Uh, um, so yeah, these are playlists that I've kind of produced. So um, we've got main uploads by Wartorius, right? which um, basically I'll stick my um, best performing videos in here, right? Um, and maybe the um, YouTube algorithm has figured out, hey, maybe I should promote these videos right here <laughs> and just ignore all the others, right? Who knows, honestly. So we've got gameplay footage, comedy shorts. Yeah, I did do a few comedy videos. Um, we've got random in here. I don't know, perhaps we should. Perhaps I should delete random because there's some real junk in, in there. Um, banished. Again, um, a game I really used to enjoy playing and I made a tutorial about because it's quite a tricky game. Device type. Oh, now that's interesting. So, almost half of the audience are watching on computer and only about 26% are watching on mobile. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Um, TV. You need watching on TV there and tablet and games console. Hmm. Okay, so I think I'm going to probably leave the video here, but um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, so for my YouTube channel today, as well as doing other stuff, one of the things I want to do is I made a few Warcraft streams, and actually some of them are quite decent. In one of the streams I actually produced a video, right? Um, so I was actually thinking of changing that video into um, a nicer kind of thing. I tell you what I could do, right? I could go on YouTube, cut the stream down, um, and just, I don't know. You see, the problem is recording a video is easy. It really is, right? Um, I just literally go to OBS, right? Which I may as well show you in here. And I can now see myself down here, hi me. And 
you just literally set it up um, to put the sources of um, content in here, right? You've got your um, sound here, so desktop audio and my microphone, which my microphone is here, as you can see. Yeah, I'm kind of recording in my bedroom technically, so I've got my lovely Zootopia poster up there. But yeah, I've got my um, Rode microphone, which is... Oh, why can't I show you guys? It's um, an, a single direction um, microphone, and I really recommend it actually. Um, but I'm sure you can find it on Amazon or your favourite retailer if you guys want to um, get a microphone like that. I've also got my um, box down here which um as you can see as i'm talking it's flashing which kind of tells me that uh well you can hear me which is really useful and it's kind of a proper thing so um to be honest video quality you, you again can't see the microphone for obvious reasons but i'm just using a relatively cheap um logitech camera which um Again, it's nothing fancy. Um, I was actually considering buying a higher quality camera, but to be honest, I think most of the um, most of the um, good stuff from camera actually comes from the lighting and not necessarily the quality of the camera. This is, um, you know, a reasonable quality camera, and it also has a um, microphone. But again, I prefer this microphone for some reason. Uh, it just sounds nicer, and. Um, Seeing as how I'm just showing you guys around because it's the 100 subscriber episode. I've got my plant down here and I think I really need to um, maybe replace it or do something with it. The um, plant is basically um, grass. Um, I don't even know where the grass came from. And um, dandelions, right? Dandelions from seeds from the garden, okay? Um, my room's in a bit of a mess, so uh, I've got my plant up there, which um, a friend of mine called Michael gave me, and I love it. And uh, I it had three little tendrils um, kind of growing off it with three little babies on. So I basically put the babies in soil, and they grew. And I kind of gave him a plant back, so, you know, it's kind of like we're um, sharing the plant now, <laughs> which is kind of cool. And... Um, yeah, so that's um, basically most of what I'm... Um, that's basically it. Um, I've obviously got my um, sound stuff, right? Um, my sound installation stuff. No regrets about buying this. Um, it was a bit expensive at the time. And if I go around here... You guys... Oh yeah, I've got ponies up there for some reason. Um, but I haven't got around to donating um, to the pony, pony pound yet. Um, again, Zootopia poster because that movie was amazing, and um, I've got my soundproof walls, right? So, the soundproof walls are great, they um, basically stop sound reverberating in here, so it's easy for you guys to actually hear me, and not only that, um, they look nice, um, I really like the way they look, and they generally do um, kind of stop the sound from the rest of the house. Um, on the floor, which I'm not really going to bother showing you, um, because it's, um, slightly messy, is, um, a soundproof mat, which again I got from Amazon, and, um, honestly, it's just made such a difference to this room. Um, it's literally blocking any of the sound coming up through the floor. Now, if I was really fast, which I'm not, I could actually get a second layer of the, um, soundproof flooring. But um, actually, this flooring does a really good job, and it's really hard wearing, and it's easy to clean, and um, and I really like it. So uh, yeah, um, let me go in the comments if you want to see anything else. But um, yeah, that's pretty much my whole setup here. And um, yeah, thanks for listening, and uh, thank you very much for helping me get to 100 subscribers. I really, really appreciate it, guys. And yeah, see you soon.